Son. So get ready, man. This place is going to fall. Satan's kingdom is going to be divided against itself. And as the most I bring this place down, we just keep coming together doing this work. Okay? But it's going to get rough. The battle's going to get rough. Camp's getting rough out there. All right? He's still trying to fight us <laughs> and get the cut of the cut of McGregor. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? But it, the camps it just is becoming more and more violent, man. They just mad because we out there bringing that word out. Okay? All right, so um, all right, we're going to open up with a, uh, just a quick prayer. Get a few more scriptures on the tabernacle to just close it out. The brothers done a, a good job. They edified job. We're going to hit a few more points. Um, you know, they already brought it out through the spirit. If you missed it, get the notes or go back to the video. We want to just hit a few points and uh, get ready for the fellowship part. Good okay? Take the wire mic. All right. Keep on cutting off. Or something. Test and test. Hold on, hold on. We're going to tell you I understand. Test and test and test. Of the physical aspect of the Feast of Tabernacles. 
Got it? So now you know we dwell in the books or the tents as much as we can. Some brothers and sisters do it the whole seven days. Buy the brothers down in the HOI Atlanta, HOI Georgia. You know, they're doing it for the whole seven days. I think the HOI Philly is doing it for four days. And then they're going to close out at the sister's house for the last three days. You know, HR LA, you're doing our little four days, starting Friday. So, uh, you know, some people got tents in their backyard, in their living room, whatever. Whatever you do to commemorate the feast day, God, you go throughout Brooklyn and uh, certain parts of the, of the uh, country where there's a high Amalek, so called white Jew presence, you'll see the boots on top of their roofs, on their fire escapes, on their terraces, their patios, everywhere. And we did the same thing, we're going to read that later in the book of Nehemiah. They got that from us in the ancient time. Okay? So that's the commemoration of the physical aspect of the Feast of Tabernacles. Leviticus 23 and 33. Can everybody have it, say, okay? Leviticus chapter 23, verse 33. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, the fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. Right, so the fifteenth day of the seventh month, which is sundown tonight, calculated from the new moon that we kept on September 6th. Right, good. On the first day shall be a holy convocation. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're coming together to have a holy convocation, a true or a righteous gathering. We don't give a damn if it's Monday night. It's the, it's the feast day of the Lord. We're going to sacrifice, we're going to get together, and we're going to make it happen. Okay? That's why you have a calendar for so you can prepare. You can try to make adjustments to your job, your business, whatever you got to do, make a way to come and keep the most high feast. Okay? Right, good. Seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Right, seven days you shall offer an orphan made by fire unto your house. Good. On the eighth day shall be an holy convocation unto you. Right, so next Monday, sundown, we'll be gathering for a holy convocation also, but we'll be out in the sticks. We'll be out in the woods camping. But we'll have a tent out there also, I will, and we'll gather for the closing service. Well, of those camping, all right, um, we'll gather for the closing service. Those of y'all that are not able to make it, we will uh, try to go live and we'll have the service recorded so you can watch it that night or the next morning. Okay? How are you? Be on. And ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly. Is a what? A solemn assembly. The Lord said it's a solemn assembly. It's a great assembly. It's mandatory. Okay? But I go to um, Exodus 23. Hold that. Exodus 23 and 14. Did y'all read this one? Go to Exodus chapter 23 and 14. Now I heard Kazak ask y'all earlier, what are the three main feast days? All hands should be up now because we went over there earlier. What are the three main feast days that all males of Israel were required to come? And if the woman or the children were not unclean, they were also required to come. What are the three main feasts on the Hebrew calendar? Yaquim. The Passover feast, the first fruits, the feast of Come on, excellent, brother. The feast of the Passover, unleavened bread, the feast of the first fruits or wheat, or the feast of tabernacles or booths. Come on, in gathering. Uh, tabernacles is also known as the feast of in gathering. Read that, Exodus 23 and 14. Exodus chapter 23, verse 14. Bring it up. Three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Right, which is the Passover. Okay. Good. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded thee in the time appointed of the month of bed. Right, unleavened bread is bread without yeast, of course. Good. For in it thou camest out from Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. Go ahead. And the feast of harvest, the first fruits of thy labor. Right, the feast of harvest, when we planted our crops in the field, the first fruits of our labor. The first seven weeks of our crop season, we celebrated and gave offerings to the Most High before we even ate of those crops. Right, go ahead. And the feast of harvest, the first 
fruits of thy labor which thou hast sown in the field and the feast of ungathering. The feast of ungathering, which is another name for the feast of tabernacles. The reason why the feast of tabernacles is also under the feast of ungathering because it was the end of the crop year. It was the fall season coming in when it would be the end of the crop year and you gathered in your crops for that season, that winter season that was coming in. Got it? Right, go ahead. And the feast of end gathering, which is in the end of the year. Meaning the end of the crop year. Not the actual end of the year, the end of the crop year. Go ahead. When thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field. Right, when you gather in your labors out of the field. Come on. Three times in the year. All thy male shall appear before the Lord God. Right, so these feasts were mandatory for the men of Israel. And for the women and children, but especially the men, the most high emphasized the men. Right, come on. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread. Neither shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until the morning. Oh, that's right, man. Go back to from Leviticus 23, 33. So these are mandatory feasts, especially for the men. But sisters, children also, if you're not unclean, you don't have a legitimate excuse in this captivity, make these feasts. Okay? To the best of your ability, make these feasts. Try to camp out. Try to get that, you know, that traditional feeling of what we went through in the wilderness. You know, that, that camping ain't no joke, man. All right? But then you get an idea of what our ancestors and forefathers went through when they came out of Egypt. And they had to, what they had to do that for 40 years. We complain about seven days. God, we barely can make seven days sometimes. All right, they had to do that for 40 years. All right, so that's a commemoration. And it's, it's also a way to thank the Most High for coming out of Egypt. Because the Most High said, look, you know what? It's going to be rough for you in this wilderness, but guess what? You'd rather be free and go through a little tough times in the wilderness or go back to Egypt and be under your damn enemy. God? So it also celebrated our freedom. Sometimes freedom come at a cost, God. Huh? You quit a job and you got to try to start your own business, it may be rough. You might be like, damn, I didn't know I was going to have to go through all this, but I'm used to getting that paycheck every week. All I have to do is come in, punch a clock, do what I did. Now I got a grind. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? You got your own now. And once you get it up and running, your profits start coming in, then you experience that freedom. God? Huh? So it comes with a sacrifice. Freedom comes with a sacrifice. There's got to be bloodshed in the streets of America and the world for the Israelites to be redeemed. God is going freedom going to come with a sacrifice. Two thirds of Israel, east of the other nations. Blood got to be shed for us to be redeemed. God and the Most High showed us, man, it's going to get bloody and then bad. We see it, man, when God is getting so violent in the camps. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough out here in these last days, but you gotta endure. Okay? Yeah. All right, good. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 33. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, No, just pick up with a verse you left off. We left off that. Yeah, you can start it with you got it. Just get the understanding of Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacle for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be a holy convocation. So that's what we have it tonight, a holy convocation, which is what? A true or a righteous gathering. Go ahead. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Right, servile work means work for hire. The only work that you can do on this feast day is any work that pertains to the feast. Go ahead. If it's something pertaining to the feast, you can do that type of work, but you can't do any work for a hire, servile work. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Go ahead. On the eighth day shall be a holy convocation unto you. Right, so the main two days that are Sabbaths and gatherings is the first day and the eighth day. A lot of times, brothers and sisters, you ask about the days in between. Those days in between are not Sabbaths except for the regular weekly Sabbath. So now today is Monday, sundown. Today is the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles. Of course, this Friday sundown is the regular Shabbat. But now, next Monday sundown, when we close out the feast, that's the Shabbat also. Okay? But the days in between, they're not Sabbaths. Okay? All right, bring it up. Those 
No, you can work. You can work those other days. Yeah, you can you can work uh, tomorrow sundown to Friday sundown. You can work Saturday sundown. You can work Sunday sundown. You know, you can work throughout those days. It's just tonight, which is the first day. Next Monday night, which is the eighth day, and of course the regular Shabbat in between. In between. Those three days, only work you can do is anything pertaining to the feast. You can do work and cook or purchase, but only things towards the feast. Got it? That's it. What is it? All right, go ahead. Read on. And ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly. It is a what? A solemn assembly. Right, so we got to come together. A solemn assembly is a true or righteous gathering. Good. And ye shall do no serve our work therein. Serve our work, you know, work for hire. Good. These are the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. It says, these are the feasts of Yahweh, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations. You got to go out and make a proclamation to the people. That's why we be texting y'all in. We in the group chat, and you know, sometimes I know y'all be getting on y'all nerves. Damn, now we're again talking about tap that group, man. Get your donation, and I need to do this. Okay? That's the part we, that's the proclamation we're making unto you. Okay? So don't get frustrated. It's just be on your back. Look, we got to serve the most high. Okay? We can't do it alone. We love to do it alone. They might just show up. We'll take care of everything. But it got to be a group effort. Okay? Huh? So when you, you know, back in the day, you could blow the Rams horn or whatever. But now we got technology. We got text. We got a call, email, Instagram, Facebook. Yo, got the feast coming up. Don't forget. God? Hey, what you bringing out? What you doing? Sisters, what we doing? Decoration, whatever. All that is the proclamation. God? Right? And um, so don't be cursing me out when I be texting y'all. All right? Hey, that was bothering me again about the feast. Damn. I just got home from work. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, bring it out. No, um, you got six days to do physical exercise. All right, now in the ancient time, our forefathers went to war on the Sabbath. Right, when you read in the Maccabees, they fought on the Sabbath. But that was a situation, that's where grace comes in. All right, because they said, if we don't fight, we all going to die. So they had to fight back. When you read the back of these, they fought on the Sabbath. But you got six other days of your physical exercise. You don't have to work on the Sabbath. The Sabbath should be completely for the most high. Okay? Get your work out in another six days. And if you're just a beast, go work out Saturday night. Okay? But if you just got to do seven days, just do it Saturday night. Okay? And then come back Sunday morning and double up now. All right? But uh, the Shabbat, leave that for the most high. Okay? Uh, we are. These are the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Good. To offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Right, because we burn sacrifices on each feast day. All right, now our body is the living sacrifices. Come on. A burnt offering and a meat offering, a Good. sacrifice and drink offering, even things upon his day. Everything upon his day. Good. Beside the Sabbath of the Lord and beside your gifts. And beside all your vow, and beside all your free will offering, which ye give unto the Lord. Go ahead. Also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruits of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days.